74. 4 minutes 30 seconds coming in 3, 2, 1. On the 15th anniversary of Apollo 11, NASA presents The Space Story. May 25th, 1961. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Three seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Eight years later, on July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 was hurled into space from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, carrying a crew of three, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The great voyage to the moon was underway. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. Houston, uh... Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. On July 20th, people from around the world watched as Apollo 11 Commander Neil Armstrong took that historic first step onto the lunar surface. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Michael Collins was the command module pilot on Apollo 11. One effect, I think, of the first lunar landing was to bring people of all nations uh, closer together. After the flight of Apollo 11, we three crew members uh, took a, a very quick trip uh, around the world. We visited some 22 uh, countries in, uh, in slightly over a month's time. And we noticed that everywhere we went, uh, no matter what the country, no matter what its politics, uh, the people there seemed to identify very closely with us and with the Apollo program. They felt part of, uh, of humankind's first step out onto the surface of another planet. And I think that flight of Apollo 11 did uh, make the world a little bit smaller and a, and a little bit uh, friendlier and... Uh, and did give it a feeling of unity that had not existed before. The late Dr. Werner von Braun, then director of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. We knew vaguely that it could be done. When you consider that a typical Saturn Apollo flight to the moon includes approximately six million parts, each of one must work. And the failure of each of one can call disaster. And you are working in a new field of technology. Everything is unprecedented. And yet you are working under a limited budget against a hard time schedule. All is quiet on the moon right now, but the legacy of Apollo is with us forever. Historian Dr. Arthur M. Schlesinger summed it up this way. If historians 500 years from now looking back remember the 20th century, it will be because the 20th century was where man first began to break his terrestrial bonds and begin the, the exploration of space. And the generation, which is uh, coming of age in the 60s, will be the generation which uh, began as the last earthbound generation and saw in their own lifetime the shift from man as a creature of a single planet to man beginning a, an exploration of space.